what's up everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing the train Unboxing comes from my friends over at Beastfire USA. Um, they make tripods, they make backpacks, pretty much anything you need for traveling for uh, photography, videography, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> they sent me this uh, to do a product review for them. Um, as you all know, I bought the that newer tripod. I ended up sending it back because one of the legs um, decided to somehow break on it. Uh, I don't know if it was just that product error or if it was just um, cheap product, but uh, one of the plastic that holds the leg in from stopping from all the way out ended up breaking. So uh, on Facebook, um, this company popped up in my newsfeed. I contacted them, talked to them a little bit about doing a uh, product review for them. So they kindly sent me a two tripods actually. This one is their um, bigger version for traveling. I did buy a smaller. Um, <clears throat> tripod for doing unboxing like this. I don't have to keep rigging things in my house to make it work. Um, I bought one of their smaller desktop tripods, which is on their way. It should be here Monday, I believe. This one actually came a lot faster than I expected. I thought this was only supposed to be here Monday. I got the notification it got delivered today. So let's unbox. Actually using my new camera or my new lens as well um, I ordered a uh, 18 millimeter to 55 millimeter so I got the camera a little bit closer to me and uh, not only far you guys can hopefully hear me a little bit better um, I did get a lapel mic thank you to JP videos for getting me one of those um, also from New York um, I'm not using it right now only because I'm still trying to figure out how to use my gains and everything on my camera as well as placement for the um, the lapel mic itself. I tried using it a little bit and it had this really raspy sound to it so um, I didn't want to chance it using that in this video. But, uh, let's get back to this. Okay. That's it in there. More packaging. There is some tools in here. I did not use them. Okay. So far, it, it has a ratchet style lock. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Let me do this one a little bit faster so you can hear it. Hear a little bit ratchet sound to it. Now, some tools that fell out. It's actually kind of funny that they send these because uh, on uh, me and JP videos, we did the um, waterfall uh, back in or Nayog Park. It's really funny because during that um, photo shoot, I was saying, I wish I had some spikes to put into the bottom of my tripod. It'd make it a lot easier and I could dig it right into the ground don't worry about falling over. Well, hopefully you guys can see that. Look what Beast Spire sends you. Metal spikes to go right into the bottom of that tripod. That is amazing. Um, you also get two Allen wrenches, which I am going to guess is for um, tightening the ball mount on top of here when you put your stuff on it when you put your camera on it which that's exactly what it's for um, this is a ball mount style um, I soon want to upgrade it to the uh, full fluid style setup um, I have not found one I really liked yet I like Manfrotto's but it's probably about triple what I spent 
or what this actually cost itself. Um, <clears throat> it does have a hook on the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me put these legs back up real quick, at least one of them. It has a hook on the bottom right here. If I can get it. <laughs> A little bit of pain, but that's good because then when it locks, it locks itself good. There's a hook on the bottom for your backpack, which is really good. Um, I did, I do have the uh, Case Logic backpack with the hard bottom, but if it's really muddy, and you, I really don't want to put it in the ground that much. Um, we have put it to the test. We've had it in dirt. We've had it in uh, snow, freezing cold temperatures, in a coal mine. Um, and it's held up very well. Um, I'll put that video in the link description. I always forget which way to point, so one of these corners. Um, if you want to check out that video. Uh, it does have a hot shoe mount, or a quick release mount, which I will be replacing because, um, also thanks to JP Videos, or not JP Videos, this one is Jeff Grant Media. Um, he gave me a quick release. I was looking for Manfrotto quick release plates this one works with the Manfrotto uh, adapter plates. So uh, thank you to Jeff Grant Media for that. Um, and yeah, I like it so far. Um, it seems pretty sturdy. It does have uh, two leveling points. One right there and one right there. Um, it does have a lock for the ball mount. It has twist style for the legs, twist style latch, which is good because uh, oops, there we go. because uh, the ones on the newer crept out on me. But uh, yeah, this one seems pretty good. It has the rubber holder on this side. It has a uh, don't quote me on this because I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna guess it's probably to uh, hold it a little bit easier, a little linear here. Um, but yeah. I like it. Um, I did buy other things like the uh, video mic go and obviously my lens that I'm using now so I can't show you. But uh, there's a thousand videos on those out there so I'm not really going to show it too much. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love the fact that this comes with spikes. That is a very big help because a lot of people that know that travel, these aren't the sturdiest things out on the dirt and sand so these spikes are going to help out a lot. But uh, yeah. Um, Comes with another little carrying pouch right here. I'm not sure what for, probably to hold the spikes in and stuff. Oh no, never mind. This has a uh, full right through. Well, I'll figure out what these are for, and if I do, I will leave it in the description below. But uh, yeah, this concludes this unboxing. Um, I want to thank uh, B Spire USA for sending this out to me. Um, I will be doing a full review on Amazon after about uh, probably about a month. I want to say about a month. Um, don't forget we have our uh, Centralia meetup on March 3rd at 11 a.m. Um, there has been a change in plans with that. Um, the graffiti highway has changed hands, so the state no longer owns it. It is owned by a company out of Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania. Um, police can no longer go down there and cite you for being on graffiti highway um we're still in the talks of figuring out if we're going to allow people from the event or if it's going to be a enter at your own risk as it was before um <clears throat> mostly because uh it isn't i mean i was on there before and it is pretty strong but it's hit and miss you never know i mean everybody knows accidents happen so as of right now it is still enter at your own risk um, stay tuned on the event page for updates on that and we will let you know um, but as always uh, give me a good thumbs up if you like this video to let me and YouTube know that I'm doing a good job um, hit that big red button on the bottom subscribe and right next to that is a little bell if you want to keep updated on notif if you want to get notifications for every time I have a new video um, published just hit that ring just hit ring that bell any comments you have leave in the comment uh, comment box below and See you on the next one. Have a good day.